tired and I cut my thumb off last night, so bear with me. Greetings everybody, welcome to another edition of YouTube News, my name is Kyle Marshall. For the last few years there's been this really interesting cottage industry that's kind of bubbled up around YouTube, mixed metaphor I realize, but whatever. And that is the buying of YouTube views as monetization and AdSense has become more and more popular. There's been all these companies that have promised, hey, if you come with us and give us a little bit of money, we can guarantee you to get so many views or I, we can promise that this is going to be a viral video. And most of the time, this is just a bunch of you know, computer programs or a bot just running, which I know is the same thing. The point of the matter is that they're not real people actually watching these videos. YouTube really, really does not like this. So it routinely will go around and take down videos. It will, you know, take view counts away from those videos that it believes are gaming the system. On the one hand, great, great news because it kind of shows that, hey, if you're going to be one of those people who's going to try and cheat and try and be like this big star, but it's actually just a bunch of bots watching your videos instead of actual people, that they're not really going to support that. On the other hand, you have Fortress of Attitude, who was wrongly accused of gaming the system and really has no recourse. All they got was an email message saying, this is what you guys did. And if it happens again, you will no longer be able to post to YouTube. These huge spikes in our views are from a legitimate documented sources and we can prove why it looks like this is happening but we actually have proof that it's not happening and there's really no recourse other than youtube saying sorry those are our rules and if it happens again you're out of luck youtube i believe is coming from an honest place they don't want to reward cheaters however with the monolithic engine that is now driving this site there's really no person that you can go to and say hey look at this information like i can prove that this is not what's going on in some ways youtube is becoming a victim of its own success. I don't think anyone believes that this is an honorable practice. As someone who uploads to YouTube himself, I'd much rather have a hundred people who are excited and dedicated and want to watch my videos than a million people who don't actually exist watching them. And what that really means is to like, comment, subscribe, share with people. I'm kidding. Though not really. Sort of. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the conversation that Chad Hurley, co-founder of YouTube, had with Kevin Rose recently in his Foundation series. Kevin Rose's Foundation series. Check out the interview along with all of the other links to the stories that I've talked about here today down in the description below. Chad was talking about some very interesting things about how YouTube gestated, how he was able to come in kind of at the right time where online video needed an outlet and YouTube just happened to be the site that everyone came to. Really a right place at the right time sort of thing. What I thought was even more fascinating was his thoughts on where online video is going to go to. He couldn't go into very many specifics. It sounds like he's kind of working on this project, a secret project, where there's more of a focus on collaboration instead of it being just, I make a video, I bring it out to you, and there's going to be some interaction there. It's more all of these video producers together creating collaboration over the internet. Now, there's a lot of this already going on, so I don't know how much he actually goes onto YouTube anymore, but I mean, if you take a look at some of the London, or more of the, like, the UK YouTubers who all are in each other's videos and help each other out a lot, and there's people over in Toronto, and there's people in LA that, of course, collaborate all the time in real life. This seemed to be more like, let's go around the entire planet, and if you need, like, I'm going to give you my song, and I'm going to give you some of my video clips, and you're going to give me, like, a script. So there's a lot more, like, give and take. Like, here's my idea let's have someone help me out with this. Which somebody from the crowd correctly pointed out that hit record, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's online video collaboration artistic community that he's created sort of is doing. But I don't know what Chad Hurley is going to be bringing out. But it's fascinating. I want to know what it is. Hopefully we'll find out soon. Before I end off today, let's do a quick look here at the top 10. Again, not much changed other than we now have three people that have gone over the 8 million subscriber mark, which is crazy sauce. Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I mean, I could kind of imagine I'd see the day here a few months ago. Again, I'm going to call it. Jenna Marbles is probably going to move up farther than she is already, but keep an eye also on PewDiePie, who's getting like, the crazy amount of subscribers every week, so I think that he's going to be going up and up and up. Please, if you have anything to add, comment on any of the stories I talked about here today. If there's anything that you would want me to talk about or think I should be talking about, there's that great comment section down at the very bottom. But again, I will see you next week, and stay out of the kitchen.